Okay, this one I will show you how to install Apache NetBeans for uh, latest Java FX. So search for NetBeans. This is the directory netbeansapache.org. Um, here is the download. This is the latest version 27. Okay, instead of downloading this binary, I will go to uh, installer, friends of Apache NetBeans. Okay, I'm use, using Windows 11, so I'm going to download this version. Okay, it will take about 25 seconds. Okay, if you look at here, this actually comes with JDK24. That does not include JavaFX. Okay, so let me just open file, minimize it. Um, here it says that it's going to install program files Apache NetBeans directory, which is default. So I will say next. Create a desktop shortcut. Good idea. Install. Okay, first time when you launch um, Apache NetBeans, this is what you're going to see. Okay, here is the one about. I'm using um, Apache NetBeans. ID 27 that comes with uh, Java 24.0.2 on Windows 11. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, this is actually um, this particular Java does not come with uh, Java FX. So if you go here, new project, okay, Java FX, Java FX application. Then when you say next, say fail to automatically set up JavaFX platform, okay? So we need to fix this problem. So when you go to manage, okay, add platform. Um, here, Java download JDK. Okay, some of you may try to use this, but unfortunately it doesn't uh, locate uh, JDK with a uh, JavaFX, so it's not going to work. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, let's say latest version. If you look at here, this is uh, x86, doesn't come with a uh, JDK with uh, JavaFX, so we can't use this, but we can actually add new platform. Okay. Uh, using Java standard edition. So let's go back. Here you just type Zulu JDK. Okay. This is Azure so open, open JDK. There is an option to download. Okay, here uh, as you can see there is a the secure stable build of open JDK. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, download to loop. Okay. Uh, let me close it. So there is the version. Okay, let me select latest version. Latest version, so let's say 24. This is uh, Windows. Okay. I'm using 64. So we are not downloading JDK. We are downloading JDK FX. It means we are downloading JDK and JavaFX because Oracle remove uh, FX library. Okay, so this is what we need. So there are two options: zip and MSI. I will download MSI. Okay, here you go. It's downloading. Okay, let me open. Okay, um, for now I will cancel, close it, and then cancel, minimize, so that I can, okay, I will continue install with the JavaFX. Next, okay, actually you can set the Java home variable, okay, I prefer do that, okay, next. Install 
finish let me open here um type of platforms okay and we are going to add that new Jello, okay standard edition okay that's going to be the default location seat right program file Jello. this is one uh Jello jdk24 with uh, java fx okay so jdk24 so that's a default okay that comes with apache netbeans and here is the one additional one to look 24 okay that comes with the java fx close it let's try now new project java fx java fx application next now you can actually use it okay this jdk24 reports to uh Julu jdk24 plus java fx uh 24 okay so i will just use this one okay it can be anything but this is one i'm trying for several times so this is what i have finish Okay, it may take some time. Okay, done. So it actually um, has okay the button with the hello world. When you click the button, it's going to print hello world on a standard Apple device on my screen. Okay, there there is a title. There is going to be a stack pane, look like a small window according to Sim. 300 pixels by 250. Uh, this is what we need for uh, the pin so, so that we can launch JavaFX. Okay, let's look at inside. So we have only one. Okay, try not to use uh, the menu here. Okay, it may not work well. Okay, so if you try to run project, it may not work on the pins. What you can do is compile. Okay, then uh, run file. Basically, we are running this file. Okay. Okay, so when you click, uh, hello world up here. Okay, you can even know these warnings. Okay, not the serious problems. Okay, hello world is here. You can click again. Okay, hello world up here. And then title. Okay, hello world. Also appear here. Okay, you can close. Okay, now build successful. Okay, uh, I said don't try to run project directly. Okay, it seems like working, but nothing up here. Okay, it says they're unable to create a Java FX script uh, engine for Java script because they remove it from JDK. So so you may not be able to uh, launch your JavaFX application, even though it's here. So always try to use run file. Okay, that's it. That's how you use uh, latest version NetBeans uh, IDE 27 for JavaFX uh, 24. Thank you.